Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Cinnamon desktop environment. The development of the Cinnamon desktop environment was a reaction about GNOME 3 coming out way back in 2011, which the conventional desktop metaphor of GNOME 2 was abandoned in favor of GNOME Shell. Following several attempts to extend GNOME 3 such that it would suit the Linux Mint design goals, the Mint developers forked several GNOME 3 components to build an independent desktop environment. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading this directly from <laughs> the Cinnamon Desktop Environment Wiki, but I needed to get some context on why the Cinnamon Desktop even exists. I became interested in the Cinnamon Desktop when I was looking at Linux Mint. And it looks like Linux Mint has really customized this for their needs. And looks like, based on reading that little cinnamon wiki there, that this was actually their baby. Them needing to fork off of GNOME and build something that works for them and their goals. Where else should we look than the originators to see what the Cinnamon desktop provides. So today we're gonna to take a look at a couple things as we go through this desktop environment series. One, we wanna see how the workflow is and how configurable it is so that we can make things work the way we'd like them to, how we work daily. Also, how's it look? Is it possible to change things to look and configure things the way we'd like them to look? And three, does it get in the way is it intuitive? Those kinds of things. And in this desktop series, I'm pretty confident Cinnamon is going to meet a lot of people's needs. My first video in the series was with XFCE. You can check that out woo, 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 woo. somewhere over here. There'll be a card. And we're going to take a look at this desktop here. Who better to look at this with than the Linux Mint team. I'd like to start by taking a look at the resources that are being used by the desktop environment. One of the things you have to choose is, is this desktop environment going to work with the resources that I have? If you have 32 gigs of RAM like I do on my laptop, you're not as concerned about how much resources it takes up. But if you're using older hardware, you really need to know. You, you pretty much have to do the math there and see if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna pull up HTOP. And what I'm seeing is it's taking up 858 megabytes. And I also see that just idling my CPUs, they're not taking much of a hit at all. Also, let's take a look at NeoFetch and get the information that we need. You can see the kernel there. You can see the amount of packages being run, the desktop environment there in the version, and the theme that's currently being used. Now, for me, the Cinnamon desktop environment is quite easy to maneuver. You've got your classic menu down on the bottom left here, at least in its default state. You have a search bar here, I can go ahead and go to system settings, find what I need and move on. You also have organization here that makes a lot of sense. Obviously you can find your office suite, you know, in the office breakdown in the menu. You can find your music player in the sound of video. <laughs> it sounds silly. But there's been a couple of desktop environments that I've used, and I know that it's a configuration on my end, but just having the default organization already there for me is great and feels intuitive. I really do find this quite easy to walk myself through. And quickly, just so you know, the Linux Mint team has this welcome, and you can go through, oh, this isn't just Linux Mint, this is Linux Mint Debian Edition 5, which I did a review of, and you can check that out as well. I really like this edition of Linux Mint. But I show you this welcome screen 
Because they have allowed the ability with just a simple application like this to make some changes within your desktop environment just from this welcome screen. Boom. And I just find that fascinating and how easy people can, whether they're a developer or um, whether they're a user like myself, to be able to go in and make the changes that you want to make. There also are some easy things when you right click the desktop, you can create a new folder. If you love stuff on your desktop, guess what? Folder for stuff. You've got it there. And there's your folder for stuff. You also can add desklets and they're pretty cool. I've downloaded a couple. You go to this download section here and these desklets are a part of the Cinnamon desktop environment, which is why I'm showing them to you. I'm going to show you this one really quick. And you have a configuration here and I am going to change. And I'm going to change this to Rome because I would love to visit Rome. And so there we are. And I know we'll update that soon. But having the ability with these desklets to put stuff on your desktop that you like to monitor. Some people don't want that. They want it nice and clean, but sometimes you want a simple monitor. I like having a monitor, whether it's something like this, that's simple and not configurable, or something that might be a little more configurable that might be up your wheelhouse. I do really like that. I personally like having some things that I like to take a look at and have it there and accessible and available to me. Let's go to desktop settings here. And here's where we can remove these icons. I don't want that icon there. I don't want that home folder there. You can remove it if any mounted drives show up here or you can add them back in. It's very simple. The things I'm showing you are Cinnamon desktop specific things. There aren't very many applications specific to Cinnamon desktop environment like you might get with KDE or GNOME. And if there are some Cinnamon desktop applications that you know of, let me know in the comments below so that I can check those things out. And I figured they would be here. I mean, maybe the system monitor is a part of that. After messing around a little more, we're at 1.2 gigabytes of RAM. So for me, this is a little heavier than XFCE. This also uh, still feels very snappy, moves quickly through menu items. And also, we have the ability to check out some configuration pieces. Something in, as simple as adding and removing things on your desktop, like a desklet or um, a folder or something along those lines. But there are themes that are available, and they have it integrated here and make it quite easy. I believe it is in the system settings. And here's your system settings. You have applets and backgrounds and effects and extensions, just some really cool ways to get around. But they have this theme section right here. Now, you can go and you can add or remove and download these themes which is great. So if you don't like this Linux, Linux Mint default theme, whether it's the dark theme or the light theme, you can go through and change those. Now, they give you plenty up front. And if you're wanting something a little more classic, you can see that there. You also, and you should also note that if I make a change here, there still are opportunities here with your window decorations, your window borders is what they're calling them, your icons, your controls, your pointer. If I wanted to make the pointer this black here, I can, no problem. But 
I've downloaded one theme here and we can take a look at it. And what you should notice is some transparency on the bar on the bottom. You can also see some rounded edges on the bottom. And it looks different. This is totally workable for me. Now, panel settings. I can make the panel bigger. If I like that, I can make the panel smaller. I don't know why you'd want to make it that small. It's kind of hard to see. You can hide your panel. You can intelligibly hide the panel. That's great when you make a window large. It'll hide itself, and then if you put your pointer down at the bottom, it'll show itself again. I like that. Uh, let's Let's make this a little more visible here. But let's say I don't like any of those themes. Let's see, I'm just really randomly checking a theme here. This Numix Cinnamon Transparent, and let's see what that looks like. And now this panel is completely transparent, which I personally like. I really like that. And then once again, right-clicking menu really gives you a lot of options. And this one looks interesting. And now I've got that set and ready to go. Now it looks like with this theme, they've got a salmon looking color thing. So system settings. And I can go to themes and I can pick something that looks closer. Maybe this minty dark red here. It might feel a little closer to it. Yeah. Make, make that red. It's super easy. Really like it. If I don't like transparency and I want something else, let's say, let's say I want Mint XP, baby. All right. Let's make Mint look like XP. Please, please, please. There you are. Boom. Got to make the folders blue. Blue. Okay. Oh, man. That theme is just awesomely nasty. <laughs> cool, dude. That's cool. Let's move this panel. I can put the panel over here. All right. I can also move the panel up here. Okay, that's great. Now, if your eyes are hurting really bad, this is not a how to make your desktop look amazing. This is really a, here are some of the configuration opportunities that you have. Can you make it look your own? And I can say, yes, this is great. This really does, and it's not in the way um, I've spent, what, today, you know, 10 minutes on this, and I'm whipping around, really feeling like I can get some things configured. Let's say I go to Linux Mint's software manager, and let's say I install a piece of software. Let's say I decide to install Audacity. I install Audacity. To me, this should be in the menu. It should be in the sound and video area. Let's see, sound and video. And there it is, Audacity. Here it is. Okay. And now you have Audacity. So what did we learn? The Cinnamon desktop environment is cool. It is configurable. You can work and it feels very comfortable to work in, finding what you need. You don't wanna be spending a bunch of time trying to get, even if you're in the middle of tweaking and you really wanna get in there, it's easy to find where you want to get things tweaked. Now, there may be some way to do an overall theme, more like what KDE does. You know, I was having to download the theme and that essentially managed the panel bar and then uh, I needed to change the window, uh, the buttons, the color, those kinds of things, which I'm totally comfortable with as well. Gives you some easy configurability, but 
maybe you were looking for something a little more, you know, one button click kind of situation, and that may not be it, but the desklets, the desktop, the menu, the, the visuals, you know, I like transparency on my panel. I don't like it to just be this big, just bar. But, and if you want it to look like Windows XP, a very weird, not much like Windows XP, but like Windows XP enough that you kind of wish you wouldn't have done it in the first place, you can do that too. The Cinnamon desktop environment really knows what it is because the Linux Mint team has taken it. And now you can find the Cinnamon desktop environment on multiple different distributions. If you want an Arch-based distribution, there's a community edition with Manjaro or just with Arch itself, you can get that desktop environment or you can get the desktop environment with Ubuntu or whatever distribution, there's a good chance you can get this Cinnamon desktop environment. If this interested you, if this looked great to you, if you felt like this worked well with how you think your workflow is gonna be, give the Cinnamon desktop environment a look. If you're someone who has low resources, this is getting to the point where it may not work for you. But if you've got a fair amount of resources, you know, four gigs of memory or up, you know, it didn't seem to be doing much as far as CPU, and I wasn't doing much eye candy. Um, obviously, I was probably giving more eye source than eye candy, but there wasn't much graphic intensive things that I was doing with the Cinnamon desktop that I think you can do. If you um, search, you can look for some more Cinnamon customization. If you're looking for more customization than what I showed you, this was just scratching the surface. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to look at the GNOME desktop environment. Is it GNOME? Is it GNOME? We'll take a look. See you later.